In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to deploy your project to Netlify. And uh, here I already have my simple HTML code. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you have a JavaScript framework, the process will still be the same. So let me do that right now. Let me push it to our Netlify account. Uh, what I have to do first actually is to connect my project to my GitLab, to my GitHub account. So I will do that. Uh, it doesn't matter what option I choose, private or public. I'm just going to go with private. Uh, click OK. The process, uploading, and there we go. It's been uh, pushed. So I'll open it in my GitHub account. So to verify, my file is there right now. Everything looks good. And what I want to do right now is to connect my GitHub project to my Netlify account. And by the way, you already need to have a Netlify account set up. So if you don't have that already, go ahead and do that. It's completely free. And uh, once you're done, uh, you will see something like this, this type of a window. I already have like two projects running, but I only have a third one. And uh, the way to do it is I'll click on new site from Git. Uh, here we can see uh, three options, GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. So it doesn't matter uh, which one uh, you use, use whatever it is that you're using currently. The process will be the same. In my case, I'll use GitHub. So it's authorized. And uh, there we go. So this is the list of my uh, projects. You can search for one if you have a lot of them. Uh, in my case, I just have a, a few. And uh, Deploy Netlify is the one I want to deploy. So if I scroll down right now, so if you are using any JavaScript frameworks, uh, you do need to build your project first. And uh, whenever you do that, you'll actually need to also run specific commands here. So your specific directory to point to a command that your Netlify needs to run. So those type of things will depend on the framework that you are using. Uh, I already did something like this in the past with my one of my other videos where I was uh, deploying a Vue project. So if you're currently on Vue, you can go ahead, check the video out, and uh, you'll be able to see the commands and the file in here, in there. So I'll deploy my site right now. And uh, if I scroll down, I can see the process has started it. And uh, if I'll click on it, if I scroll down, I can see all these messages. I can see what the project is cloning for me. And I can see that the project is live. And if I scroll up right now, he, oh, it's still deploying. No, it's saying that it's done one second. Published. Oh, there you go. There is a, a link to my site. My bad. And uh, there we go. So right now, my project is live uh, on Netlify that has been able to be accessed by everyone. So that's it, guys. And uh, the one thing I actually want to show you still is, so let's say right now I come here and uh, I want to change something. So here it's saying I deploy this to Netlify. This has been done. So I'm just going to set this to status done. And uh, once I have made changes to my project, now it's time for me to deploy it. And to demonstrate how powerful and how simple things are, if I'll just click on save, uh, under changes, I can see one file. I'll click on plus button to stage it. And uh, what I'll do right now is try some sort of a message. And the message is changed the status. Okay. And uh, a shortcut. So this is the commit to message. The shortcut is control enter to submit the message. And uh, once that's done, I'll just push my uh, new change to my GitHub. And if I were to go back into my project right now, I usually it's been done automatically. Maybe it's still taking its time, which is weird. But in any case, it has already pushed my new change. We can see the timestamp. We can see the message. And if I were to go back right now to my URL, refresh the page, we can see that it's done. So that's pretty much it. I'm not sure why this was a hiccup. Usually it's super fast. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos, helpful videos, and I will see you in the next video.